Now this price is pretty interesting. The Beelink Surf Live Pro features the Ryzen 5800H, an 8 core CPU, which still has plenty of grunt. While a new generation exists, this mini PC comes in at 419 US dollars for a 16 slash 500 gigabyte pre-built configuration, which helps it stay competitive. For the dollars, you get the mini PC and manual, monitor mount and screws, power supply and two HDMI cords. The B-Link Surf Live Pro is one of the better looking mini PCs in B-Link's lineup. It would have been cool if it had a metal case, but at least it's good quality plastic. Port wise, the front has dual USB 3 and USB C 10 gigabit with video out capability, plus an audio jack. The back has gigabit LAN, USB 3 10 gigabit, USB 2, dual HDMI 2.0, and barrel jack for power. Nothing special there, but you can have three displays. B Link minis are pretty easy to open up. Four screws, and then pull on the rubber until the lid pops off. Inside, there's space for a 2.5 inch SATA drive for additional storage. To go further, more screws need to be removed from the SSD cooler. And watch out for the fan cable when you're pulling it out. There's a thermal pad on the 500GB Kingston NVMe drive, and underneath that is the M.2 Wi Fi Bluetooth card. This free sample from B Link also includes 32GB of 3200 crucial memory. Windows 11 Pro is what you'll find installed on the SSD. But my usual Ubuntu test of a USB drive passed with flying colors, meaning everything just worked. Those not needing the fastest CPU or graphics performance will find the 5800H to still be a nice performer. But to show the difference, I'm going to compare it against the latest Intel i7-1360P and AMD's Ryzen 7 7735HS. In the benchmarks, I've also included the Mini's Forum UM580 which has the same CPU. Note, all these pre-built options are more expensive than the B-Link Surf 5 Pro. Single core is not an area the 5800H CPU excels. It's behind Intel's i7 by 25% and 8% against AMD's latest. Multicore shows the B-Link Surf 5 Pro performing 15% below the Mini's Forum UM580. That's because the power limit is set to 35 watts on the B-Link while the Mini's forum was 45 watts. The B-Link is 19% behind the Intel 1360p and 28% behind the 7735HS. In the video encoding benchmark, the B-Link only trailed the Mini's forum by 5%, which is 19% behind the Intel 1360p and 18% behind AMD's latest. The B-Link 5800H outperformed the Mini's forum slightly in the 3D benchmarks. 3% in DX11, it's 15% behind the Intel 1360p and 36% against the 7735HS. Similar results in DX12, 4% better than the Mini's forum, 17% behind the NUC and 39% for AMD's latest. Ok, now it's time for the side by side game comparisons. As requested, the CPU power on screen display will now be added to all benchmarks going forward. All three minis perform well in Valorant. There's no clear winner. In Forza Horizon 5, the 5800H has a 10% better frame rate than Intel's 1360p but it's over 40% behind AMD's 7735HS. A similar deal with Elden Ring, but AMD's latest isn't as far ahead. And with Cyberpunk, again, the 5800H holds up a bit better than Intel's 1360p, while both are far behind the 7735HS. Intel's CPU holds up a little better in God of War. The 5800H falls behind by around 25% in the toughest Wii U emulation.
It was also a bit behind the 1360p in PS3 emulation with Wipeout. But with Skate, it was pretty even. And behind again in Motorstorm. And as you may have noticed, the Intel unit had graphical glitches. Overall, the Sur 5 Pro holds up really well against Intel's current platform in gaming tests. That being said, if you need raw CPU power or more GPU performance, you'll be looking at the newer options. I also messed around in the BIOS, but didn't find anything too interesting. There's no option to push CPU performance to 45 watts. The max CPU temp of 89C matches a few of the B-Link and Mini's forum units I've reviewed previously. The additional cooling for the NVMe storage drive did its job. 50C was the max drive temperature recorded. Included SSD didn't have a controller sensor, but looking at the other results, it should be under 70C, which is good. The included Kingston NVMe SSD is a decent performing Gen 3 drive. The B-Link Sur 5 Pro is noisier than the Mini's Forum UM580, but it's still on the lower end of the noise scale. I was hoping for a bit quieter as the max power draw of 60 watts is much lower than the others and easier to cool. The idle power draw of 7 watts was also on the lower end. So performance per watt is still good even if the 5800H isn't the fastest out there. One issue I did notice is Wi-Fi kept having latency issues when gaming. There were big spikes in the ping. I tested about 10 meters away from the router. I didn't notice an issue when browsing the web and it didn't drop out, but gaming with Wi-Fi just wasn't possible at this distance with the regular spikes in ping. Other minis didn't have this issue. Okay, so in summary, the B-Link Surf 5 Pro represents good value with a lower price. It performs well, looks nice, and has good SSD cooling. However, the Wi-Fi was a problem from a distance while gaming, and the port selection is a bit lacking. It's also running at 35 watts instead of 45, so there is a bit of CPU performance left on the table. Before the price, I think it still holds up well. Before you go, check out my Minis Forum UM773 Lite Mini PC review to see what you get with the latest generation. Cheers!